Hello again everyone, here we are at um, St Petrox Church, Bodmin. I've not done this one yet, but the uh, graves are scattered around the edges here. This is the uh, crema cremation area. So we'll have a look, we'll have a look at these here. Lovely old church, and the sun's shining, I'm hoping it's not going to pour down with rain for a minute. Okay, we'll have a look up uh, up through here, bless him. Walk between these here. Okay, I'll try to keep my shadow out if I can. James Kempthorne. Esquire. Died 1851, age 73 years, also Mary, widow of the above, 1856. James Kempthorne, Esquire. Still a few Kempthorns. Unfortunately, there is a Bit of broken. Excuse my shadow. Somebody Richards of this borough, by the look of it, 1848. Whether it's a male or female, I don't know, but that's all there was here. Some of these are really old. There was some from the Cornish militia here, 17 something to. Okay. Elizabeth Harris. Elizabeth Harris. Read that last bit. Harley. Daughter of John. And Matilda Harvey. Sorry, it's Harvey. She died in 1829 at aged bless her, six years and six months. Eighteen twenty nine she died. So that's Harvey. John and Matilda Harvey, the parents. Elizabeth Harris Harvey was th the daughter. The little girl aged six years, six months, bless her. And there's some here. Now there's James Harvey. Of this borough. Died in 1857, aged 79. And also of... Say Susanna, yeah, Susanna, his widow, died in 1862, age 77. Died in Crediton, which is in Devon. Her native town, okay, and was there interred. So that's. James Harvey.
John West, son of John Wallace. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm going too far ahead of myself. John West, son of John Wallace. Coon. And Nancy, his wife. Died March. Is that March the 3rd? Did you say this? And George, his brother. Yeah, it's all Roman numerals. I can't read them. Sorry, guys. I've not got a book with me. Also, Charles and Lily. So I'd say that they're all Wallace. But it's really ancient. all in like uh, numerals. Suffer little children, come home to me. Come unto me, sorry. And there's one here on its side, it says Anne Clements, late of this borough, departed this life on the 28th of January 1837. And of Philip Clements. He died January 1841, aged 51 years. And of William Treff, Treff P, the brother who died 15th of April 1837, aged 64. So it's Anne and Philip and William, Philip's brother or Anne's brother. Sorry it's on its side, but... Okay. We go Anne, the wife of... Matthew Clemo of this borough, 1847-882. And of her great grandchild, Elizabeth Anne Princep Burton. and William John Burton. So that's a grandchild of William John Burton and Elizabeth Anne. Lovely little finish to it, look, look at that. Age 82 she was. Watch where I'm stepping here. John Prince F. Burton, who died in June 1874, age 46. So they're related to that one next door. Let's see if I can get something out of this one. Thomas, the son of Thomas and Mary Pierce with a C. Yep. Pierce with a C. Died on 6th of February 1804, aged eight months. Also of Louisa, the their daughter. Died 10th of August 1817, aged five months. And there's another one there, also of Thomas. 
died 27th of March, aged 10 years. I don't know what uh, the date's called, it's broke, see? So we've got Thomas the son of Thomas and Mary Pierce. Also Louisa, their daughter, and also of Tom, another Thomas, but I can't see no date on that one. Lots of children here. Susan Tucker, wife of James, who departed this life in 20th October 1848, age 36. That's no age, is it? I don't know why they double stack them here. Here we are, Anne Alfred Hicks, daughter of the above. Unfortunately, there's no above. Died February 1810, aged eight years. Well, at least we know that's, that's Anne Alfred Hicks. And there's one behind there, Thomas Moyle. Life on the 10th of December. I cannot read anymore. 1833, aged 37 years. <sighs> aged 37 years. I've had to pull that other stone out to read it. Bless him. These are all, with all these packed in here, look. They should have been out in, they were out in the, uh, the bodies are out in the, in the lawn, but like I say, they'd done it to clean the bloody grass. I think. It's John, John Every, 12th of February, 1852, age 81. Every. And Joan also, 1863. Is Marie, the daughter of Marie, the daughter of John Avery, and Joan, his wife, the daughter of Nicholas and. Emily Craddock. So, yes, Marie, this is. And she was aged 15 when she died in 1826. So they've done the August let, org, and ST, just to save a bit of room on the. Probably room and money, I would have thought. William Solomon William Hicks age 49 of is that say sorry ah, hold on age 49 and of Sarah, his wife. She died September 1847, age 61, and also of their children. Anne, who died 1806, Susanna Roberts, Aged 18, John who died October 
the 10th, 1839, aged 26. Let's have a look here. John Bounds Jane, his wife and Richard John Libby, Libby with a EY instead of just a Y, their infant son. Also, this is hard to read here actually. John Bounds died 12th of April 1839, aged 26. Jane, his wife, the daughter of Richard, and Jane Warren, without an E. She died 4th of December 1838, aged 25. And E.J. Libby, their son, died 15th of December 1838, aged... What's that? Something months. One month. Why would they put months? One months. Bless. Here's a different name. Moving on. Richard Geek with an E. This borough. Veterinary surgeon. There you go. Veteran, veterinary surgeon. July the 8th, 1848, age 39. Ah, oh, folks. Right, we got Hicks, we got Weber. Oh, there is, these are in a clump here. The footing's not that good here, actually. John Pierce, this time with an S. Son of George and Susan Pierce. There's a lot of water running here. Look at that. I'm being very careful not to go over. Thomas Byron, age 78, 1836, he died. Mary, his wife, 1808, age 40. See a little name here as well. A little, uh, what do you call his name? Mason's name? J. James, I think. Right, I'm gonna. Uh, Richard Dodge. Richard Dodge Phillips of this borough. Died on the 14th of April, 1840, age 39. Thomas West, West Herps, son of the late Reverend Thomas West, vicar of Guilford Devon. Okay, we are back on the Hawkins again. Twenty nine Pierce with an S again, Mary and Ann Gaskin, Mary 
Right folks, I'm going to be wrapping this one up in a minute. I'll have to come up and do it again. I've only come out on the off chance today, so... We'll just have a look down here. So you've got all those graves over there. Even the sheds collapse on a load over there. That's... But they don't even know that. This was off. Big old monument, look at that. Three little doves there. Any name before I shut down? Ah, oh, yeah. Memory of Bennett. Bennett, Michelle, Anne Cole, his wife. Their children, Rose, John, Anne, and Catherine. 1857. Okay, folks, I'm going to wrap it up now. Please like and subscribe, and I shall be back to this one again. So, thank you very much. Bye for now.